students good morning everyone so class 7 today we will complete the second part of the first chapter of computer that is statements in small basic all right in the last class we studied about the we studied about small basic the different statements in small basic that was assignment statement conditional statement and in conditional statement we studied about the if then statement if then else statement if then else self statement looping statement in which we studied the for and for loop step and while and while okay so these were the topics that we studied in the previous class today we will continue with the second part all right so let us see the contents of the second part of this chapter so students today we will study the graphics window what is graphics window in small basic then setting up graphic windows how can we set up the graphic windows in small basic then properties of graphics window object what are the different properties of graphics window object and methods of graphics window object so these are the topic that we are going to study today all right so students what is graphics window in small basic graphics window provide graphics related input and output functionally this graphic window it provide us the different types of graphics that means the animations the pictures or any kind of picture related with the small basic you want to input it allows you to do that okay it inputs the different types of graphics in the computer and ask the computer to perform that program accordingly all right graphics window provide graphics related input and output functionally then ms small basic provides a graphic window object which allow us to draw different things this graphics window why why do we use graphics in a program to draw yes or no to draw something to draw different types of diagrams into the program all right so this graphics window in small basic it allows us to draw different things inside the small basic program okay then we can draw lines shapes and add colorful text in our drawing suppose you are writing a program or you are making a program in small basic this graphics window it allows you to use different types of lines different types of shapes and colorful text to write inside the program that you are working in all right so we use graphics window to do different type different various kinds of work into the program in small basic it allows us to draw different types of lines shapes and also add colorful text in our drawings inside the program the program that we write that is why we use this graphics window okay so now students how can you set up the graphics window setting up the graphics window that means how can you operate this graphic window while you are writing or creating a program so first point is to display the graphics window we have to write the following line of code there is some code given to the program there is some code that we need to write into the program so that we can set up the graphics window okay so how what line of code will you write it is written on the second point see graphics window full stop show in the bracket that means whatever graphic you want to put this is the line of code that you need to write into the program then this small basic will provide you or will allow you to write different types of lines shapes to create different types of line shape or dip, add different colorful text into the program that you are writing in all right so first you have to write the following line of code and the following line of code is graphics window full stop show under inside the bracket whichever line or code 
what you want to write you can write inside the bracket okay then when we run the statement a white window will appear on the screen when you open the when you open this program in the small basic first when you write this line of code graphics window full stop show in the bracket then you will see when you run this statements when you ask the computer to operate this statement you will find a white window that will appear on the screen you will see a white blank page or white window that will appear on your computer screen and there you can instruct the computer or you can write the program to do the various work that you want to create inside a program okay so now students what are the different properties of graphics window object there are different properties which you can use to write the different or to give the different graphics inside the program so these are some different properties the properties of graphic window object are the first one is graphics window width the first one is graphics window width that means there it is written equal to 500 that is just a number that is given to you so that it increases the width of the line or shape that you have written or that you have drawn inside the program it sets the width of the graphics window to the specified pixel pixel means the number or the 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 number which you will give according to that number the width of the graphic window will be specified okay the width of the graphics window will be specified according to the pixel or the number pixel means the number that you will give it depends on you what number you are giving to the graphic so that it adjusts the border or the shape or the lines of the shape according to that width so this graphics window full stop width this is the line of code that you will give to the computer to write the program how to create a program okay it sets the width of the graphics window to the specified pixel then the second one is graphics window full stop height which is equal to 500 here it is given 500 you can change the number according to your requirement okay it sets the height of the graphics window to specified pixel it sets the height of the graphic window the graphic window the blank page that will appear it will set the height of the graphic window accordingly all right then the third one is graphics window background graphics window background that means you can change the color of the background if it is white color you can change it to different colors as per your requirement okay it sets the color of the background of the graphics window what does this property do graphics window background here i have given a blue color you can change the color according to yourself okay this graphic window full stop background which is equal to blue is the code that you will give you will ask the computer to perform this action okay and what will it do it will change the or it will set the color of the background according to your instruction that you are that you have given to the computer all right then the fourth one is graphics window title graphics window title means what are you giving which title are you giving to start the program it gives the title to your program that is first program suppose i am writing the first program you can write any title which you want to give okay the program that you are working into according to your name or according to the title you can set up your own title it sets the title of the graphics window what does it do this graphics window title it sets the title of the graphics window okay then the fifth one is graphics window pen color which is green you can also change the pen color 
when you are working in the when you are working inside the small basic and you are operating with the graphic window it is just like the paint the paint that we do in the computer yes or no there are different types of shapes different type of brushes yes or no we can change the weight height anything in the same way in small basic also we can draw we can create different colorful text inside this program so this graphic window pen color which is equal to green i have given you can change the pen color according to your requirement what does it do it sets the color of the paint used to draw lines if you are right if you are drawing a line inside the program and you are asking the graphic window to change the pen color you will give this code graphics window full stop pen color which is equal to green then the computer will operate in the instructions which you are giving inside the program and accordingly the color of the pen that you are using to draw a line inside the computer it will change okay the color of the pen inside the program that you are using to draw the line it will change accordingly according to your instructions that you are giving okay it sets the color of the pen used to draw line this property graphic window pen color it sets the color of the pen used to draw lines then the sixth one is graphics window pen width we can also change the width that means how much width you want of the pen whether you want it to be slimmer or whether you want the line to be thicker you can change it accordingly using this line of code that is graphics window full stop pen width which is equal to 3 4 5 accordingly you can set your pen width it sets the thickness of the pen used to draw a line whether the line is slimmer or the line is thick you can set it set it accordingly using this line of code that is graphics window full stop pen width which is equal to 3 and you can adjust the number according to your requirement okay then graphics window full stop brush color which is equal to red you can also change the brush color suppose you are drawing or painting inside the program you can change the brush color any color you want to you can change accordingly by giving this following graphic window full stop brush color which is equal to red this is the coat that you will give and it sets the color of the brush to fill the shapes you are drawing a shape and you want to fill the shape into different colors so you will use this graphics window brush color this is the coat okay so what are the properties of this graphics window first one is graphics window width then graphics window height graphics window background color then graphics window title graphics window pen color graphics window pen width graphics window brush color these are the different properties of graphics window object okay so now let us move to the next topic and now students the different font properties of graphics window object there is different font properties font means the letters that you are writing the letters that you are typing inside the program okay you can change the font also accordingly using the different properties the font size and type can be set using graphics window font properties you can set the font size and the font type which type of font you want to use and what which size you want to use you can set accordingly by using this graphics window font properties what does it do it allows us to type text and specify its title height width and background color what does this font properties of graphics window object do it allows us to type different type of text and it also specifies its title its height its weight sorry it's not weight it's width and background color okay then what are the different properties the first one is graphics window font name you can change the font name using this line of code graphics window font name here it is which is written times new roman 
This is the different font name. Yes or no? When you when you create when you write or when you type a text inside the any kind of document or any kind of page, there is a different font name which you use. Yes or no? To change the font style. So you use this graphic window font name which is equal to the Times New Roman. It is used to set the font which you want to use. The design or the type of the font that you want to use to write a program. You can use this property that is graphics window full stop font name which is equal to Times New Roman. This is how you will write the line of code. Okay, it will set the font. Then the second one is graphics window font size. This graphics window font size will set the size of the font. How much bigger or smaller you want to use the font size. It is used to set the size of the font. Okay. Then graphics window full stop font bold which is equal to true. Whether you want to keep the font bold or not you will use this line of code. See it is written there true. If you write there true. The font will be bold and if you give their false, the font will not be bold. It will remain as it is. It formats the text to bold if the value is true. If you are giving the value which is equal to true, this equal to true in the small basic program, you use it as a value. Okay, just like we use in mathematics as a value after the equal sign. Here, true is the value that you are instructing the computer so if you use the true statement then the font will change into bold and if you write false if you set the value to false the text will remain unchanged it will remain as it is understood this graphics window full stop font bold which is equal to true if you are giving the value to true the font will be changed into bold okay and if you are giving it false, the font will not change and it is remain it will remain as it is. It will remain unchanged. Okay. Then the next one is graphics window font italic, which is equal to true. You are giving the value true. You can also change the font into italic. Okay. You know now what is italic? The letters which are written little bit slantly, those are italic. If you give the value to true, it will set the font into the italic. And if you give the value as false, it will be unchanged. It will remain unchanged. It will not, the font will not change into the italic. Okay. So, using this font, you can change. Using the graphics window font name, you can change the font accordingly. Which font you want to use to write the document. Then graphics window font size, you can change the width of the font. Okay. Then graphics window font bold, you can change the font into bold or not. And using this graphics window full stop bold italic, if you change it to true, it will change the font into italic. And if you use the value to false, it will not change the font and it will remain unchanged. Okay. And now students, let us study the methods of graphics window object. What are the different methods that you use to write? What are the different methods in the graphics window object that we use to draw different types of lines or different types of shape? Okay. See, after setting up graphics window object, we can draw shapes and lines on it. Once we set up the graphics window object, we can draw different types of shapes and different types of lines on the graphics window. Okay. Not on the graphics window. On the small basic program. We can draw different types of lines and shapes on it. So some methods that can be used to draw shapes are. There are some methods that you can use. The first one is draw line. If you want to draw a line inside the program, how will you use? This is the code that you will use. Draw line x1, y1, x2, y2. This x and y are what? Students in mathematics, while 
working while doing a graph there are you use different types of different quadrants you use or not how many quadrants are there in the graph there are four quadrants quadrant 1 on the top quadrant 2 on the left hand side on the top quadrant 3 down and quadrant 4 and the axes are denoted by which letter the axis that you draw the vertical line that you draw it is denoted by x yes or no and the horizontal line that you draw it is denoted by y which is called as x axis and y axis so according to this axis you will draw the line or you will give the value to the you will instruct the value inside the program to the computer and according to it it will draw a line for you okay but this is the code that you have to give draw line x1 y1 x2 y2 this method draws a line from a point if you are giving from the point x1 y1 to x2 y2 using the current pen there is a pen that is being used inside the program and if you are drawing a line you are instructing the computer to draw a line by giving value it will draw you a line inside the program by using this code of line that is draw line x1 y1 x2 y2 while we do while we draw a line in a graph we use different quadrants to draw or not and we use different letters to denote the axis in the graph the vertical line is denoted by x axis and the horizontal line is denoted by y axis in the same way in this program also there is a method of doing so of doing or of, of drawing a line or drawing a shape the first one is draw line x1 y1 this method draws a line from a point x1 y1 to x2 y2 using the current pen using the pen that you are using to draw the line the number second one is draw text xy text xy is the variable that is denoted you can use it by giving a value to it and according the value that you are giving it will draw or draw a text in your program this method writes a line of a text at the location xy using the font properties at which location you want to write the text at that location you will give the value or you will assign or you will instruct the computer draw text in the xy line it will write a text in that line only whether you wanted to write it up or down or anywhere on the left side or right side okay then draw rectangle x y w h x y w h this method draws a rectangle with width w and height at the location to draw a rectangle what do we use we use length and breadth yes or no so this width and height width is the breadth and height is the length l into b Yes or no? To draw a rectangle, what do we use? Length into breadth. Length is the vertical line. And breadth is the horizon, horizontal line. Yes or no? How much thicker or how much slipper the rectangle is? This method draws a rectangle with width W and height H at the location XY. The location that you are setting in that Location if you use this line of code draw rectangle x y with width w and h With whatever value you are giving According to that value it will draw a rectangle for you Okay, and then fill rectangle x y w h This fill rectangle graphic window Method will also fill the rectangle if you want to fill it the rectangle that you have drawn by using this line of code fill rectangle x y w h it will fill the rectangle see it is written there this method fill a rectangle with width w and h height located at the point x y it will fill the rectangle using this using this line of code or using this method you can 
fill the rectangle that you have drawn in the program. All right. And the next method is draw triangle. How many vertices are there in a triangle? There are three vertices A, B, C. Yes or no? To draw a triangle. So that is X1, X1 Y1, X2, Y2, X3 and Y3. Okay. Draw triangle X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3. This method draws the triangle with the coordinates. This x, y, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 are what? These are called as the coordinates. In the graph, you have learned or not the coordinates, the point where you start drawing or start drawing a line or a triangle or any shape in the graph. So, these are the coordinates. These are called as the coordinates. Okay. Your x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. This will draw you a two triangle with the different coordinates. The coordinates are x1, x2, then x3, then y1, y2, y3. These are the different coordinates to draw a triangle. Okay. Then the second one is fill triangle. You can also fill the triangle by using this method that is fill triangle with the different coordinates that is x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. This method fills a triangle with width w and height h located at the point x and y. These x and y are the different coordinates. In that point you can draw different types of Sorry, you can fill the triangle with different color, any color you want to. Okay? Then, draw ellipse. You know now what is ellipse? It is an X shape. Inside the computer, that is an X shape. While working on the paint in the previous, in the smaller classes, you have drawn an ellipse. Right? It is an X shape. This method draws an ellipse with width. W and height H located at the point X, Y. Okay? Draw ellipse X, Y, W, H. X will be the point from where you will start to draw the ellipse and Y will be the point where it ends. And H will be the height between the ellipse and width will be how much broader or how much thinner you have drawn the ellipse. Okay? Then the next one is show message, text or title. Now what does this do? This method displays a, displays a message box with text and title. This method displays a message box. The message box that you have created in the program. When you use this method, so show message, text and title, it will show you the message that you have created in, inside the program. Okay, so these are the different methods in the graphics window. The first one is draw line with different coordinates that is x1, y1, x2, y2. Then draw text that is x, y text. You can give any value in it and you can draw any text in the graph inside the program in the small basic. Then draw rectangle that is x, y, w, h. Okay. Fill, tri fill rectangle x, y, w, h. Then draw rectangle, draw triangle with different coordinates that is x, y, y1, x2, y2, x3 and y3. Then fill triangle. You can also fill the triangle using different coordinates that is x1, y1, x2, y2, x3 and y3. Then draw ellipse. You can draw ellipse with different width and height. Okay, starting from the coordinate point. Then fill ellipse, you can also fill the ellipse using this method and lastly you can even show the text or title that you have written by using this method that is show message, text or title. So these are the different methods of the graphics window object in small basic. Alright. So students here is an example, see. Write a program 
to draw a rectangle and fill it with green color. You are asked to write a program inside the small basic where you are asked to draw a rectangle and fill the rectangle with green color. The height and width of the graphic window should be equal to 300 and you are asked that the height and width of the graphics window should be equal to 300. The title should display rectangle and the name of the diagram that you are writing. The title, what should be the title? It should be rectangle. So how will you do this inside the program? You will write this line of code. First you will start. Okay, first you will start graphics window full stop title which is equal to rectangle. First you will write the title. How will you write? Graphics window full stop title which is equal to rectangle. Okay. Then graphics window full stop height which is equal to 300. What height you want to give? You can change it accordingly. But here you are asked to give the height that is 300. The height is mentioned here. So you will write 300. Okay. Graphics window pen color. What is the pen color that you are using to draw the outline of the of the rectangle that is black so you are using a black pen color you can also change the pen color accordingly okay then graphics window pen width what is the width of the pen how much thicker or how much slimmer you want to keep the border of the triangle sorry not triangle of the rectangle then graphics window draw rectangle these are the values that you have you are given to draw the rectangle 70, 60, 100 and 150. 70, 60, 100 and 150. Using these values, you will draw a rectangle. But the graphic, the width and the height should be equal to 300. Okay? Then graphics window fill rectangle. You are even asked to fill the rectangle with the green color. So, which line of code will, will you write? You will write graphics window fill rectangle which is equal to 70, 60, 150 or you can give the name that is green, green color. Okay, so this is how you will draw the rectangle and fill it with green color. Alright. The other example that is write a program to draw vertical lines in blue color with varying width. You are asked to draw vertical lines that means the straight lines with different width with different size. Okay set the width and height of the graphic window to 500 and you are asked to set the width the broadness and the height the length of the the length of the vertical line to 500. So how will you do? First you will give the title. What are you do, going to do? First you will write the title that is graphics window full stop title which is equal to draw, drawing line. This is how you will write. Then you are asked to give the width and height to 500. So you will mention that value. Graphics window width is equal to 500. Then graphics window height is equal to 500. Okay. For i, i is the variable where you are giving the value of i is 1 to 15. The value of i you are giving it is 1 to 15. And here i is the variable. The variable that we are using is i and the value of the variable that we are giving that is 1 to 15. And you can also use you can also use the pen color. For using the pen color, you will write the code graphics window full stop pen color which is equal to blue. And accordingly, you can change the pen color. You can give it red, black or whatever, whichever you want. Then graphics window pen width. Pen width you are giving the, giving a variable. You are giving a variable for the pen width. So, graphics window draw line that is i into 20 plus, no, i into 20, 20, i into 20, 180. That means according to the, according to the value of the variable, you will draw the line. 
This is the formula. I into 20. That means whatever value you are giving. Whether it be 2, 10, whatever. Then again the answer will be 1 into 20 is, it, is equal to 20. Yes or no? Then again y into 20. That means if you are giving the value of variable i is equal to 9. Then 9 into 20 is equal to 180. According to this value. Here you are asked C for i is equal to 1 to 15. From 1 to 15 any value you can give to draw the vertical line. From 1 to 15. Here in the graphic window draw line. First you are multiplying the variable i with 1 into 20. You are getting the answer as 20. And the next one. The next width which you are giving that is 9 into 20. That is 180. The width will be increased to 180. Okay. And how will you end the program? By, by writing the line that is AND4. When you write this AND4, the program will stop executing. That means the vertical lines you have already set. And when you write the AND4, the program will stop executing there. Okay. This one, you will have to do a practical work. Then only you will come to understand. But now I have explained you this, the basic of the basic program theoretically okay so students this is all for this chapter so what did we study today we studied about the graphics window which allows us to draw different types of things line shape and color then setting up the window to set up the window there is a code that we use that is graphics window full stop show in the bracket you can give any type of code any type of program that you want to write then there are different properties of graphics so students there are the different properties of graphics window object those are the graphics window width then graphics window height graphics window background graphics window title graphics window pen color graphics window pen width and graphics window brush color okay and the different font properties are graphics window font name Graphics window si font size, graphics window font bold and if you change the value to true or false accordingly the font will be changed into bold or italic, graphics window font italic. Then there are different methods of graphics window object those are draw line, draw text, draw rectangle, fill rectangle, draw triangle, fill triangle, draw ellipse, fill ellipse show message that is text or title different shapes you will get different types of method okay you can just change the name of the shapes and accordingly the shapes will be drawn inside the program then there is some the two examples that we did okay so this is all for this small basic the statements in small basic all right in the next class, I will give you the question answers of this chapter. Till then, you take care of yourself and we will see you in the next class with different chapter. Okay?